Hello all, good morning, Trevor Dampier of Trevor Dampier Ministries, a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is Tuesday, uh, June 22nd, and we are basically two days away from the super duper honeymoon <laughs> that's coming. Um, exciting times um, we're on, but let me just also say that uh, it does say the full moon is coming on the 23rd as well, so I will tell you that once this full moon hits, man, we're in high rapture watch. So, man, we're looking 23rd, 24th, 25th into the 26th, but it actually goes away on the 26th. So I'm saying 23rd, 24th, 25th, man, high rapture watch. So we, we stand and wait for our blessed hope. And, um, you know, we'll talk if we don't go <laughs> after this time. But I got more news on that for even more God winks related to that. Um, so let's get started with the news. Mike444 um, released another uh, article um, from the UK. Um, they're talking about a third wave and a fourth wave are expected of COVID to come in um, and, and in the coming months and to expect more lockdowns. They're going to do more lockdowns, man. They've been locked down. For a while in the UK, they give them a little bit of freedom and they take it right back. So they're already telling them, dude, we're going to lock you up again. I mean, this this is Satan telling you he ain't going to let you go. His burden is not easy. His yoke is not light. His yoke is heavy. And he wants to lock you up. He wants to control you. He's a nasty individual. He wants to do nasty things to you. You know what I mean? So um, that that is where we're at um, today. So expect more of that coming. But that news I'm sharing so that way you guys know that uh, it's not over. And, it, and it's not. Normal died in 2019. Keep telling you that. Sister Barbara had uh, another uh, a prophetic word. Uh, the Lord says the time of indignation is here and the shofar is blowing. He says, remove yourself from worldly people and the world, else you will be deceived. And then uh, this comes from Daniel 8, 19. And he said, behold, I will make thee know what shall be in the last end of the indignation. For at the time appointed, the end shall be. And he's saying that time is now. So uh, once again, you know, um, and we're at the cusp of this thing. The, the seven year has to kick off, man. We already know Israel uh, uh, was born in 1948. We already know we only got seven years. You know what I mean? I already debunked that thing going another year. You know what I mean? Because actually you can look at it as November 29th, 1947. It is when, you know, Israel was formed by the uh, world or, uh, uh, organization. Um, so, um, we, we, we are in this thing. We know it ain't going no farther than 2028. So it's just a means of days. Now we're, we're, we're sitting here eating popcorn waiting. Our blessed hope will be here very soon. Yep, it, it begins. Uh, so we, we got word um, uh, from one of our brothers. Uh, Texas Power Companies heated up some customers' homes last week by remotely controlling their smart thermostats. Cal 11, K-H-O-U 11 reported Thursday. One resident in the state, which is facing a heat wave that is straining its power grid, told K-H-O-U 11, his family had awoken from a nap, sweating, and shocked their home had gotten as hot as 78 degrees Fahrenheit. It turns out they had enrolled their thermostats in an energy conservation promotion called Smart Savers Texas, run by a company called Energy Hub in partnership with power companies. The program gives Energy Hub permission to adjust participants' smart thermostats remotely during times of peak of peak energy demand in exchange for entry into a sweepstakes. So they took their freedom by telling, oh, we're gonna enter you in the sweepstakes if you allow us to be able to control your home. <laughs> Doesn't it sound like something else? We're gonna enter you into a sweepstakes if you allow us to jab you. <laughs> Does that sound like the same thing? Then they are stripping your freedom away. Little by little, so they can own you. They literally in the midst of a heat wave, and they turn their thermostats off, raise those suckers up on them. 
What do you think they're going to do when they have all this power? They have power over you. You don't do what they tell you to do. They're going to like, I'm going to turn you off. They can turn you off. They can turn off the power. They'll they'll, um, have you look over at your 14-year-old daughter and they say, look, you don't do what I tell you. I'm going to turn them off right now. And they're just going to wipe people out right in front of you. You know what I mean? In order for you to do your bidding. That is definitely how I can see how family member against family member, brother against brother, how they can turn you in later. They're too scared of the, the, the demonic power that's over them. So that that is the the play that they're going to do. But you can see already they're going to own you. You know, I mean, they can turn your power off. You don't do what they say. They can they can um, um, turn your gas off. They can turn your water supply off. They can literally just do anything they want to you in order to control you. These are these are the times that that we're getting in. This is what the elites want. This is what the the demonic realm wants to to control you. There was a red alert yesterday, severe storms to, to impact uh, the entire Northeast. Um, we had uh, an active cold front hitting us, which has caused an alert from sh- for strong thunderstorm warnings and possible tornadoes to impact the Northeast last night. So I haven't watched the news um, today, but I'm sure that it's, it's impacted. And we're at the end of June, and you still have cold fronts coming. <laughs> Lord ain't messing around, man. I'm telling you. Oh, it's amazing. Uh, more confirmation using the sun, moon, and the stars, uh, Bible references, and everything the Lord Jesus has given us to see that June 24th, 20, uh, June 24, 26, actually 25th, is Shava O. So this is uh, Dr. Barry Ah. Um, he went through big chunk of stuff, but I love how he went through the sun and the moon and the stars, just like how I showed you uh, yesterday um, with, uh, what, what is his name? Um, Rapture, uh, I forgot what his name, a Return of the End or something like that. Um, but just like I showed you yesterday, tying all that together. <clears throat> now, he is getting stuff uh, uh, um, as well, saying that, you know, counting the Sabbaths to equal that, I, I, I'm still not convinced that um, the lunar Sabbath count like that, you know what I mean? Because if you go back into the months and you try to count exactly seven days, they never match up to the half moons. You can literally start from January, March, you know what I mean? And that's what that other article said, you know what I mean? And you can do the math and that it won't equal. So I see that. Uh, and it's hard for me to say that Israel has been wrong since Jesus, <laughs> like for the Sabbath. Like I, I, I can't, you know what I mean? Believe that. Um, but you know what I mean? What I will say, you know what I mean? Is that I believe that the Lord has shown him all these other things to tie to this day, especially in the sun, moon and stars. So, um, he's done a lot of work on it. You know what I mean? It's definitely some high rapture watch. And I even have more info, um, related to that. I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys that. Uh, breaking news, a tropical storm Claudette um, killed uh, almost 14 people um, that, that hit. Uh, so strong winds and heavy rain slammed parts of eastern North Carolina and the National Weather Service issued flash flood warnings for the area. A high risk of rip currents was posted for several breaches. Claudette's death toll, because that it moved into North Carolina a little bit, but Claudette's death toll stood at 14 in Alabama, including nine children killed in a multi-vehicle crash Saturday that also claimed the life of a 29-year-old father of one of the children. Tragic, man. And that was uh, um, uh, the first one, you know what I mean, that that we've had and uh, already doing some severe stuff. And they expect this thing to get heavy. I expect it to get heavy. Once we're out of here, dude, there is no holds barred. This is the Holy Spirit still holding things back so it doesn't dramatically destroy thousands of lives. You know what I mean? That's the type of stuff that you're going to see. Things that you never could have thought happened um, because the Holy Spirit has been holding it back from the beginning of time. Now, those that um, are here, no one has seen what is coming. That's, that's what the Lord said. You know what I mean? It hasn't been this bad ever since the, the creation of time. And, and that's what's coming. (sighs) 
More detail from the past and discussions related to scientific methods to release viruses in the society than to solve it with forced sleeve roll-ups to control individuals' minds using magneto technology. So let me um, show you guys a glimpse of this. I don't think it's that long. So let me let me show you. Sharing it, I wanted to go through it. This is Peter Gilbert from 1995. I am going to use certain words and not the ones that he uses, but you will be able to see them on the screen. 1995, and I'm going through these slowly so that you can really concentrate on what these are the biological destruction. There are organized people, evil ones, tempests on the magnetic fields. What will follow is the contamination of bloodstreams of men, creating intentional infection. This will be required via laws that will make roll up your sleeves mandatory. And these roll up your sleeves will make possible to control people. The roll up sleeves will have liquid crystals that will become hosted in the brain cells, which will become micro receivers of electromagnetic fields where waves, very, very low frequencies will be sent. This is the new cell service, 5 to the G, okay? These are very, very low millimeter waves. So these very, very low frequencies are sent, and through these low waves, people will be unable to think, kind of like a zombie. Major brain fog, maybe? He said, don't think of this as a hypothesis. This has been done. He says, think of Rwanda. I've just put a couple of extra slides in here because this backs up what he said back in 1995 and what they have been studying since that time. These articles, this one, super paramagnetic nanoparticle delivery of DNA, roll up your sleeve. 2014, and this shows the efficiency of how they do it. Take the time just to read this little paragraph, especially, I mean, the whole thing is important, but especially in the middle where it says, in particular, the duration for this transfection. It can be significantly reduced by magnetofaction. Okay. They just put it all out there for you. That was 2012. It's a targeted delivery. Using magnetic capabilities with outside frequencies. And there's a little sample of what it looks like. Showed you that in the other video. But I'm going to keep it short. And I will, like I said, in my community page, you visit it, if you can visit the other links I put there. So as you see, they've been working on this for a while, and trust me, the devil has been working on it long before that, ever since, you know what I mean, uh, uh, Jesus came and knocked him out, you know what I mean, they've been working on this plan for a while, and uh, it, it, it's here, they, they want to control you, they want to own you, you know what I mean, and those that keep lining themselves up, you know what I mean, to get jabbed, man, you're lining yourselves up, dude, to be a slave and a zombie to, uh, for, for satanic, satanic control. Very sad indeed, man. Very, very sad indeed. Um, there was a Yellowstone earthquake swarm um, yesterday. Over 50 plus earthquakes um, started swarming over at Yellowstone. Now, they were small. 2.6s, 2.5s, you know what I mean? 1.8s, 2.1s, 2.2s. A lot of small ones, dude, but that's the magma moving around. Once again, the Lord is getting this stuff prepared. The rollout, the stage, chairs, couches, you know what I mean? The background, all of it's getting set up. 
And then once it's all set up, like that, the show goes on. And 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 uh, that that's literally um, where we're at. Eight hospitalized after EF3 tornado ripped through a Chicago suburb. So an EF3 tornado tore through the Chicago suburb of Naperville, Illinois, Sunday night, damaging over 130 homes and leaving 22 houses uninhabitable, fire officials said. It was like a bomb went off with all the debris in the streets. More birth pain warnings from the Lord, dude. More and more of these things are happening in the city areas, and as more cold fronts come in, more uh, opportunity for severe weather comes. So once again, man, people need to repent, get right with Jesus Christ. You got to get out of here. You know what I mean? You, you don't want to be here when there's no more righteous on the earth because the Lord has no mercy for those that don't uh, know him and don't have them, himself in them. India being devastated by the black fungus. So a puzzling epidemic of black fungus in India is spiraling out of control with tens of thousands of COVID-19 survivors now battling the infection, which can lead to blindness and death. On June 11th, NDT TV reported there were 31,216 cases of mucormycosis in the country and 2,109 deaths Due to it, due to the infection, a hundred and fifty percent increase over the previous three weeks. So, dude, more plagues are coming, man. The black fungus now is hitting. Revelation six eight. I looked, and there before me was a pale horse. Its rider was named Death, and Hades was following close behind him. They were given power over a fourth of the earth to kill by sword, famine, and plague, and by the wild beasts of the earth. So, dude, we once again we're seeing the rollouts coming. We're, we're, we're seeing it. This, you think this is it? No, dude. Like this is just the rollout, dude, of of the thing. And then, dude, once we're gone, this black fungus and all all these other plagues that they've been talking about, dude, behind the scenes, um, Lyme disease stuff, all this stuff is going to hit humanity, dude, like a storm. It's going to be insane, man. Um, but but we, but we see it, you know, um, clearly. We see it, we see it, we see it. Yeah, we've been waiting for this. Uh, so as we stand waiting for our blessed hope and high rapture watch dates between June 24th through 26th. And remember, I also said 23rd is, uh, they say the full moon's actually coming. So even the 23rd. Um, we see more signals of that probability happening. Um, Phenomena UAP task force within the U.S. Department of Defense, an unclassified version of the report is due to be released to the public on June 25th. And it's said to detail what government officials believe those mysterious South uh, Lewis in the sky to be. So they plan to release the report on June 25th as well. We've been waiting for this. But they're not going to release that sucker till we're done because it ain't going to make sense. So they got to release it. They probably already have something in there that the aliens have been taking people and that we've been taking. Dude, the great deception is all there. This is more signals and, and, and signs to tell us, dude, that we're almost home. Really emphasizes the high rapture watch. You know what I mean? That's coming. I'm, I'm excited, people. I'm excited. Five point seven earthquake hits near Greece, um, and also um, Earthmaster gave some more information related to the Yellowstone swarms. Um, but it wasn't uh, on land, but it was right next to Greece. Um, once again, more birth pain warnings from the Lord. Um, we, we we keep we keep warning. <laughs> I know it's it's so repetitive. I go, yeah, six point nine, five point nine, you know. Ah, 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 you know. The Lord is gracious. He's, he's so merciful, man. He gives warning upon warning upon warning upon warning. Then warning upon warning upon warning upon warning. Then warning upon warning. 
I mean, to us, we go, oh, it's so annoying. Like, we know. But we, we see it now that um, the warnings are drying up. And when I say drying up, not drying up with us, watchmen, because we know what's here, um, but drying up to those that are listening. You know what I mean? And um, the Lord knows it. You know what I mean? But um, he wants to make sure that there is no excuse, no excuse that nobody heard it. He's like, Dude, I, w- I had my people warn you far beyond the time that was allocated. And then when I thought that I was ready to pull them up, I said, give them more time. You know what I mean? I've been ready to take them since 2020. You know what I mean? And I kept extending it. But now is the time. So we we, we stand and wait um, and enough's enough. You know what I mean? The, a wicked generation needs to see a sign and he's going to show it. Well, he already did <laughs> with that sign of Jonah with the guy swallowing up in a whale. <laughs> That's what he said that he'd do. But um, still, what he means is a wicked generation needs to see a sign. This rapture is going to be one of the biggest signs in love. It's not just about taking us up to, to get us out of here so we don't experience his wrath because there is no condemnation in, in Christ Jesus. But it's also... Because it's in love, a sign for those that are left behind, that is going to get millions and millions, you know what I mean, in order to say, I'm not taking your stuff, I'm not bowing down to you, I've already seen my husband get zapped out of here, my my child get zapped, Uh -uh. they were telling me Jesus Christ is real and he was coming, I didn't believe him, I believe him now, And, and, and then they will repent and acknowledge Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And, and that's what we need. Um, but it's unfortunate that people have to go that far in order to get that word. It, it, it's, it's so sad, but it is what it is. Some people, <laughs> they can't touch it. They, they, they won't um, believe. But it's going to be hard. But um, at least they'll believe. Amen. Okay, verse of the day, uh, Psalm 121, 7 through 8. Psalm 121, 7 through 8. Here we go. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forevermore. Oh, what a great, great end to this message. Yes, he is here to protect us now and forevermore. We're almost home. We're almost with them. We stand in our blessed hope, waiting for our king to arrive. And it's very, very short here. So stand and watch around you. You mean so that way you can keep your faith nuggets up, separate yourself from the world. Anybody trying to pull you back in and keep your eyes focused on him. We're almost home, people. God bless you and yours, people. Shalom. Love you all. Jesus Christ loves you dearly. Have a good one. Later.